Hey Easy Technology fans, welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing y'all three methods on how to downgrade from Windows 11 to Windows 10. Now, there could be several reasons why you want to downgrade to Windows 10. Maybe when you, once you downloaded Windows 11, your computer hasn't been very stable or it became a lot slower or anything has happened to it. So for any reason, you may want to downgrade back to Windows 10. Alright, so the first method, first thing you have to do is choose the start menu. And this only works if you have only upgraded within 10 days, otherwise it would not work. And once you're here, go ahead and go to settings. And by default, you're going to be under system. So under system, go ahead and go down and find where it says recovery. Choose that. And what you want to do is next to go back, you're going to choose this go back option. So as you can see, it is actually not available on this PC as I have upgraded to Windows 11 a lot over 10 days ago. So therefore, Microsoft has disabled this option for me. All right. However, this may work. If it does work, all you have to do is press go back and follow the on screen prompt. All right, moving on to the second method. So starting from the beginning, once again, go to the start menu and go to settings. Again, you're going to be under system by default. Go ahead and scroll down and look where it says recovery. Choose that. And next to advanced startup, you're going to go ahead and choose restart now. And after you restart your computer, which it will take a few minutes, you're going to want to choose troubleshoot. And then you're going to choose pick advanced options. And then you're going to select uninstall updates. Then you're going to choose uninstall the latest feature update. And once again, uninstall latest feature update. And that's all you have to do to go back to Windows 10. All right, and last but not least, the third method on how to downgrade back to Windows 10 is simply going on the internet. And this time we're going to create a bootable drive from the Microsoft website. So simply op open up the internet, cho choose your account, and type in download media creation tool and the first one would be the Microsoft website go so go ahead and choose that go ahead and scroll down under where it says create Windows 10 installation media go ahead and choose download tool now let it download once it's all downloaded, go ahead and select it. Choose yes to allow changes. And as you can see, it says Windows 10 setup, getting a few things ready. All right, so you're going to want to choose accept. All right, and it's going to bring you to this page. So it's going to ask you what do you want to do? And you're going to choose create installation media such as USB flash drive, DVD or IC ISO file for another PC. So select that second option and simply choose next. And it's going to ask you to select the language edition and what architecture your PC is. And you're just going to choose next. And I will not be downgrading right now to Windows 10. However, you would just continue following this prompt and it will automatically downgrade and reinstall Windows 10. So let me choose next. And once again, you're going to choose the ISO file right over here and simply choose next. And you would need to select a file and choose save.
And as you can see, it says downloading Windows 10. But I will not continue this process as I do not want to downgrade right now. And that sums up my tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed this video and benefited from it. Let me know if it helps you out or if it gives you any problems. I'll be happy to help you out with it. Make sure to like the video, share it with all your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.